This palette of goodness goes by many different names. Some call it the ocean's foie gras, the gold of the sea, or my personal favorite, the whore's eggs. What are these? Sea urchin, well more specifically, sea urchin gonads or their reproductive organs to be exact, but they mostly go by their Japanese name, uni. There was a whole process before it could be beautifully arranged and sold on a palette like this. Uh, in a nutshell, or <laughs> in this case, a sea urchin shell, it kind of goes like this. First, these crazy, spiky looking dudes have to be harvested from the ocean, and that usually involves highly trained divers. And then they are cut open and cleaned out. Uh, this is what a sea urchin shell looks like without all of those spikes. And what you'll find inside are five golden, uh, tongue-like looking organs. Those are the gonads. The uni is then removed, sorted by grade, and then packaged. Depending on its origin, uni tastes slightly different from one region to another, but for uni lovers, the main characteristics are essentially the same. Upon first taste, mm, there's this ocean brininess that just graces your tongue. Mm, and then it melts, and what you're left with, oh, is this creamy sweetness that is indescribable. It is uniquely uni. It definitely is an acquired taste. In fact, the first time I tried it, I spit that shit out. It felt like uh, my mouth needed an exorcism, but only because I didn't have the good stuff. But then I got hold of the good stuff, and then that was it. I was in, I fell in love. And now I'm a proud whore's egg lover. Mm hmm. Never thought I'd say that in my life. The best way to eat uni is in its raw, plain state, but there are other ways to prepare it, and I'm gonna share my four favorite ways. First up, uni sushi. Wet your hands with some water, then shape a small ball of cooked sushi rice into an oval. Wrap it with a strip of nori, leaving some space on the top. Place some salmon roll on top, along with some uni, or just top the whole thing with uni. You could serve it with some soy sauce on the side, but to be honest, it doesn't need any, and in my opinion, sushi rice is the best carrier for uni. Next up, scallop and uni ceviche. In a bowl, combine freshly squeezed lime juice, grapefruit juice, thinly sliced onion, garlic, chili, and salt. With a gentle hand, mix in some sliced raw scallops and bright cilantro and bless it with some uni right on top. The sweet, creamy uni really balances out all those bold flavors and makes it taste magical. To some, it might feel like a sin to blend up or cook uni, but I have to say, it does make a powerful addition to hot dishes. For example, uni pasta. In a bowl, whisk egg, melted butter, uni, and salt. Cook spaghetti in salted water, and save about half a cup of that pasta water. Drain off the pasta, return it to the pot, and with the heat off, gradually pour the mixture over the pasta and toss it well. Add some of the pasta water and continue tossing until everything's well combined. Serve it immediately with grated Parmesan, some shredded nori, and of course, more uni on top. This is a must try, so go ahead and twirl your way into this guilty pleasure. Lastly, uni risotto. Using a fork, combine softened butter and uni, and then set it aside. Heat a small pot of chicken broth on the side on low heat, and in another pan, brown pancetta until crispy. Then set those crispy bits aside. Saute some shallots in the pancetta fat until translucent, and stir in arborio rice, and toast those grains for a few minutes. Instead of your usual wine, pour sake until all the rice has absorbed the liquid. Add in a ladle of the chicken broth and stir it occasionally until that's all absorbed. Continue the process until all the broth is absorbed and the rice is cooked to your liking and then stir in the pancetta and uni butter. Serve immediately with a sprinkling of furikake and more uni right on top. Comfort never looked so good. And there you have it, uni four ways. I really hope you'll dive in and give these recipes a try. I love uni here. Mmm.